Alrighty, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another Shay video. Today is a lovely Sunday, well, wintery Sunday anyway. The sun is sort of popping in and out of the clouds, so not a bad day, with a bit of a cool wind though. So what are we doing today? Well, today we're doing a um, bit of a budget soap. Palm Olive Shave Cream. Now this is fairly cheap here in Australia. We pick, you can pick it up for um, $2.50 Australian or 65 gram tube uh, at my local uh, grocery store. So it's pretty cheap. Um, I haven't used it yet so we'll, we'll test it together. Comes in a little tube like that, and it's got the typical green colour, light green colour. Sort of a minty, woody scent I get. Um, I'll just put the um, scent profile and ingredient list here. It's mostly made of um, palm oil products, not palm oil. Um, coconut oil, sorry. So we'll uh, measure a bit out. Um, I'll, I'll use probably three grams to see how that goes. And put it in my bowl. The bowl we're using, we're going with the Yaki plastic um, black juke bowl. Um, the brush we're going to use, which is also a new brush in the den, comes from Botti. It's a semi-custom brush. I actually specified how big I wanted the, the brush and specify the gold coin. And I put the um, Sinbad knot in there myself, which is a 26mm, set to a 56mm loft. So I'll stick that in my mug to get wet. And what else are we using? Oh, got my test tube, not test tube, <laughs> syringe, <laughs> filled up with 20 ml of water, warm water. Um, the razor, we're going with the this week's razor, which is still the um, TRC from the razor company, aluminium. And today I've got the Wizardmet blade and in there on its third use. So I've got one of these super iridium blades in there. I wasn't very happy with the persona blade I had in there. So we're going with the Wizardmet and see if we get a better shave out of that, a smoother shave. And we'll put the pre-shave on now and we're going with the Svetsicle shave cream as our pre shave. And yeah, you notice I've got my, I've got a new hat, new cap. This is actually a charity um, towards the uh, oh, M. Uh, oh, it'll come back to me. Muscle—it's uh, a muscle disease, a neuro neurological disease, similar to MS. I think it stands for muscular neurological disease, MND. Okay, put the cream on. Yeah, these uh, caps come out in the winter here with the football season, the local football, Australian Football League. And they collect millions of dollars each year towards the um, diagnosis and study of the disease. Looking for a cure. Just 
Apparently it's an incurable disease. Same as MS, it just sort of gets worse and worse as you get, get older. Okay, that's it. We'll go across to the leathering station and build the um, leather. Okay there, I've got some cream all here measured out, just uh, just a bit over three grams there. That should be plenty. I'll just get my brush, give it a squeeze, a couple of shakes, and we'll just push that cream off the spoon. And we just generate a little paste, doesn't need much to get started. Okay, and then we just start adding a little bit of water. I start with two uh, mil. Now I haven't tried this out before, so we don't know what sort of leather we're going to get. like it needs much water. That's five mil at the moment. I wouldn't think it need more than ten. Yeah, it looks like about Three, three and a half grams is enough. Put more water in. Yep, still building. Let's go to um, 12 mil. I think that's enough. We don't want to overdo, um, overwater the uh, cheaper soaps and creams. They don't have the strength of the artisan soaps. All right, we'll go with that. Lovely leather, beautiful. I've already re-wet the face, so we'll, we'll start applying. Lovely. It's got a light scent. The scent coming off the soap is not that strong. I get a, a minty, like chewing gum, minty scent. A bit of wood. Maybe a bit of spice. Pretty generic. Uh, To the palm oil scent, I think. All right, uh, the razor. Uh, bit of alum on my fingers. Let's have a look. It's not disappearing, so that's a good sign. Oh, this is much smoother. And the persona blade.
you know, I can feel, still feel the blade, just a little bit, there's a little nick I did on my last shave on Friday. There's only a, a small amount of blade feel. Just to let you know it's there. Mm, lovely. Now I can't tell a lot about the slickness yet. Because of the uh, pre-shave I put on. So the next couple of passes will give us an indication of slickness. It's, um, it's staying together, it's not it's stable. Nice, nice gentle scent, not offensive. Okay, across the grain. Or east to west, if you want to call it. It's probably not all across the grain. Let's feel its thickness. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Not the best in the world, but uh, what do you expect for two dollars fifty? Certainly, you get the job done. See if we've got any, oh, it dries out pretty quick. There is some residual, as long as you wet it. Yeah, that's what I expect from a coconut milk soap, to dry out pretty quick. What else has got in it? I think that's it. Uh, it's got uh, steric acid, glycerin, coconut acid, and a few other coconut products. Potassium chloride, a bit of salt. Not sure what the salt's for. Let's get a bit more. It is stable though. It's not dissipating. And it's got a pleasant, for my nose, a minty woody scent. That's a spearminty woody scent, uh, not a peppermint, is what I get. Uh, we're down against the grain. Oh. South to north. There's no blade overhang on this razor. Go close as I like to my ears and my nose. A 
It's certainly slick enough. Just not a lot of uh, residual. Mm, sorry. This blade is much better than the Persona on the a grain, against the grain pass or the south to north pass. We have a whipper on the chinny chin chin and a couple of over here too. Let me see with a wet hand, which is what we normally expect for um, a, a coconut oil base soap. But it, you know, it dries out quick, but you can put a wet hand on it and you'll have some residual slickness. So we'll just do our normal pass on the jawline, pick up pass. Mustache area is fine. Okay, perfect shaves every shave. A uh, couple of weepers. Feels pretty good. I'm happy with that. So we're out on our holiday, and they got some palm olive cream and in the grocery store. That's a good backup. Or if you just want to take a small tube, because they're not very big. I'll get the job done. Very nice. 
All right, we'll give it the alum test and uh, channel green. Just some minor tingling. Bit more on that weeper. Just some extra tingles along the side of the mouth. The cheeks are fine. Good shave. I don't feel any irritation. Just some minor tingling around the face. A bit extra on those weepers. Beautiful. Okay, we'll just rinse that off and then uh, use the leftover leather as a face wash. Good. Get some of the alum in my mouth. left over enough for another pass or two let's have a look yep still good slickness yeah not a lot of protection bit of protection that's probably why I got a couple of weepers not as much protection as um, of course a uh, soap costing a lot more So I'll just put this on, go and have a shower, come back for the post shave. Back from the shower. So, what have we got? Lovely shave. Damn fine shave. There's still a touch around the neck I missed, but it was lovely. We'll catch it on the next one. <laughs> okay, um, post shave. We're going with oh, witch hazel, there's not much left. Probably one, one more shave. Before we have to go to the new bottle. So that's witch hazel with menthol crystals. A bit of tea tree oil, as you can see, that's that's all that's left. Then we're going with our Lucky Tiger Energy Cream going down. Plenty on. supermarket product. Pick this up in most of the supermarkets and locally here. About 10 bucks I think. That's Australian. Oh, wonderful scent.
thank you all for watching and we'll catch you on my next show. Cheers.